All right, this video is a short video involving markup, and the reason I'm doing this is the book uh, tends to show algebraic solutions for markup, which can get pretty involved and unnecessarily involved for the student. So I would like to show you something called the chart method, where we can sort of visually look at this, see the relationships that exist in markup, uh, and then go from there. And I think you'll find this will make your life a lot easier uh, with markup and the topic that follows it is markdown and following that we have a very large topic called CVP analysis cost, volume, profit analysis and for all of this I would recommend the chart method so let's just take a simple example and work through it we would take the selling price of an item and from this from the selling price we would subtract the cost of the item now we can make up some figures here if this is going to help you uh, let's start with some dollar amounts. So we're starting to build uh, a chart now, uh, and the chart will go like this, and we'll probably extend it over a few columns. So we'll go with this for now. So when we take the selling price, let's say the selling price of an item is $80. So we're selling this for $80 in the store. The first thing we would consider is how much did this item cost us in the first place? And let's assume the cost of this item was $50. So we had to pay $50 to get this item in the store. Could be a telephone or anything you want to think of. Um, so we're, we're asking $80 for it, uh, retail price. The cost was $50, and we get $30 left over of something. So we get $30. And that $30 is called markup. So selling price minus cost then is markup. That's the relationship that's existing there. So selling price minus cost gives us markup. Now we have to decide if markup is profit. And hopefully from your background, and a lot of you are in retail, you realize it is a chunk of money that's left over, but it's certainly not profit. It's got a long way to go before it would be seen as profit. Well, what do we have to take away from this? We have to take uh, away from this overhead costs or operating costs, overhead expenses or operating expenses. That, that's the cost of renting the facility or the cost of paying a mortgage on it, the cost of uh, employees, the cost of heating, the, the cost of insurance, and, and on and on, snow removal and all these other things. Uh, you would have to uh, pay a little chunk of for each item you sold. And let's say that that's going to um, eat up another $10 on this item. So now we have $20 left over. And for all intents and purposes, uh, in this course, we are going to call that profit. But I would like to point out to you that it's really uh, sort of the gross profit. Because there still has to be taxes paid on this. So taxes would still have to be paid. Uh, all the different taxes that are involved, and then that would still come off of this $20, and then we would have net profit. But in the examples we're using, we'll just say at this point, let's just call it net profit. So on this item that sold, sold for $80, $50 of it was ate up by the cost, left us with $30, $10 we went towards overhead expenses, and $20 now we're going to call profit. So that's the start of our chart, uh, and... Uh, that will be our basic approach to this. So we're already seeing some relationships that exist. There are two other columns we're going to want to make here. We will look at the percent based on selling price. This is the way a lot of the large retailers do business. They want everything compared to the price they sell something at. So if we base everything on selling price, the selling price, of course, becomes the base, and it is 100%. So this is 100%, and everything else now will be compared to that base, of, which is 100%. So if we want to know what percent the cost is of the selling price, we will just compare 50 to 80. So what you're actually doing is taking $50 divided by $80 times 100 to get that as a percent. Now if you do that on your calculator along with me, uh, you're taking 50 divided by 80, times 100, and that's giving you 62.5%. So 62.5% 
was absorbed just by the cost. And what you have now left, if you take the 62.5 from 100, and you've got uh, 37.5 percent markup on that item. But remember that 35 percent markup is not profit, all right? We still have the overhead expenses, and if you wanted to do that as a percent of selling price, remember, it would be the 10 compared to the 80. Everything in this column compared to selling price, which is the $80. So 10 compared to 80, again, do it on your calculator, that's another 12.5% that's been eaten up there. And that will give us the profit being $20, which in terms of what percent is this, it's 20 compared to 80, which is 25%. So you can figure this column out by taking this item divided by the base, which is 80, or you can also follow down, and it's the thing, the reason the chart method is an advantage here, is we can see the selling price minus the cost is the markup. So 80 minus 50 is 30. Well, the same thing will hold true over here for the percentages. Here we have 100 minus 62.5 is 37.5. So this at a glance shows you all of the possible relationships that exist. Similarly, the markup minus the overhead gives us the net profit. That's a simplification, as I said, but for all intents and purposes, that's all right. And similarly over here for the percent based on selling price, we have 37.5% for the markup. 12.5% was used for, to pay for overhead in the store, and that's leaving us with 25% as net profit. The final thing I would like to show you on this little clip uh, is what would happen if another retailer, as a lot of them do, say, well, that's one well and good uh, for the big stores to do it like that, but we prefer, to, as the food industry does, to base everything on the cost. That's the way they like to do that. They call that food cost. So that's working out percents based on cost. So C standing for cost. And what happens here then, the cost becomes the 100%. So that is our base is 100%. So the base is $50. So if you want to know what percent is the markup of the cost, it's 30 divided by 50, which is going to be 60%. So 60% markup. You notice how different these figures will be. So it, it really matters whether you're doing something based on selling price or based on cost. And everything else will work the same way. You would do the 10 compared to the 50 would be 20% would be used up, uh, for overhead to pay up overhead expenses. And the profit uh, will be the 20 compared to the 50, which is going to be 40%. And notice again it follows that the cost minus the markup is giving you the overhead, and the markup minus the overhead is giving you the profit. So the chart shows all the relationships that exist at a glance. One word of caution. A lot of students think the, the biggest number you can have on here is 100. That's not quite true. If you're doing something based on cost, the selling price is obviously going to be more than cost or you're out of business. So we notice that this is 80 but it's going to be compared to 50. So it's 80 compared to 50 times 100, which is going to give us 160%. And that should be the sum of these two. So what we're saying there, now well, look at that section again if you have to, that the 80 when compared to 50 times 100 is giving you 160%. So it's made up of the two things below it, the cost and the markup. So if you take the markup and the cost, you end up with the selling price on all parts here. So the 60 plus the 100 is 160, 37 and a half plus 62 and a half was the 100, and 30 plus 50 is 80. Take your time, think about this, and try and work all of your examples and all of your problems into this framework, because it will have a huge payoff for you down the road. Thank you very much.